In excess, devil inside. All right, let's get all these parts played for you, and at the end, I'll go through it all with some details for you. So to start, we just kind of get this opening chord, and uh, basically it'll just be like a C. And uh, I like to play it this way, more the bar chord style. So three on the A, fives on the D, G, B. And we just hit it, hold it for a few measures. Okay, then we come in with the main riff. Uh, pretty cool riff, I like playing this one. It's a three on the A, we do that twice. Okay, then we do a couple of closer together threes on the E to a one on the A. Okay. okay, then we come back to the three on the A, hold for a count, and then we go one, three on the A. Okay, cut it. And then we finish that measure by doing a quick one to open on the D. And then essentially we'll just like loop it. Okay, so uh, those first two measures of it. Alright, so then we loop it. Do the uh, first measure again. Okay, and the only thing different now, the second time through, is that uh, we just play the 3-1-3 three, three on the A. And we don't do the uh, D string. Okay, so it just be... And then just rest the rest of the measure. Okay, so just put the whole thing together now. Okay, getting into the verses. Uh, we start with that C chord again and let it go for two measures. Okay, and then we just go down to an A chord for two measures. And we repeat that progression twice. Okay, and after we go through that twice, 
we'll go come back to that C again. Okay, and a uh, special note here, once we get to this part, uh, a second guitar will just be playing the main riff over the top of this. So you can choose which one you want to do, it's up to you. Okay, so we would do that C again for the second section, a couple measures, but now we change to a F for a couple measures. Okay, and then we would repeat that C to F twice. All right, so then we could just put this all together now. bridge section comes in and this will get split up into two different guitar parts so you can choose to do either the chord section or you know kind of the more like lead section going on all right but here it's going to switch to uh, G okay two measures worth okay then we go to E minor a couple measures there and then back to a G for a couple measures Pretty simple. All right, and the second guitar going on with that bridge, like I said, more of a lead section here. Uh, it's going to start by coming in a little a bit towards the end of the first measure. Okay, it's going to be at the four on the G, three on the B, and we're going to hit that and we're going to hammer on with our ring finger to the 5 on the B. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to hammer it on again. So just pretty much two back to back. Okay. And then we come back and we hit that 4 on the G and we pull off uh, the 5 to 3 on the B. Okay. This would be something like And the next section of it, we just kind of come up now, do a, that similar type of thing, but just up at a higher spot and a little bit different, you know, because we're on the B and E string now. Okay, so it'd be uh, tens on the B and E, and we're going to hammer on the 10 to 12 on the high E, pretty much how we did the 3 to 5 on the B in the previous section. So it'd be like, all right, and then we hit uh, the 10 and 12 and then pull the 12 off to the 10 on the E. Okay. This would be something like... Okay. And the third section of this, uh, we kind of stay in that same section, but we do uh, hit the 10s on the B and E, hammer the 10 on the E to 12, come back off to 10, Okay, and then we hit a 10B, 12E. Okay, then 10s on the B and E to 8s on the B and E. And once we hit those 8s, basically the next verse is starting. Okay, so it'd be like... Alright, so now we can just put this whole thing together. chorus comes in and the chorus is essentially just what we're doing at the end of the verse okay so we're just going to be sticking from that C to F and do that twice all right but the only difference in this chorus really is that there's a second guitar and it's just kind of doing some like little accent things on the G here the five of the G it's doing like a uh, kind of short staccato muted fives so we just hit it once and then hit it twice and hit it twice again. All right, and you don't have to be like super exact with this. You can get a little loose with it, but we just repeat a measure's worth of that eight times. So it'd be like. Okay, something like that. 
Okay, so we can just try this chorus all together now. Okay, there's a post-chorus section, and uh, this happens after the second time we go through the chorus, and this also plays uh, as the outro. Okay, so uh, basically we're just doing that C to F progression, but now we're going to add uh, a suspended four, mix that in there like every other chord. Okay, so we'll be hitting our C here as usual. <laughs> But now we just bring the pinky over and we add sixth fret on the B to make it a suspended four. Okay, we're just going to go back and forth between the regular to the suspended. All right, and just the timing on it's really what you're going to need to worry about. So be, uh, go back and forth between it twice. All right, and then just do it a third time, but a little bit quicker together. Okay, so it's something like. All right, and then we just do that at the F now. Okay, but and to make the suspended four for the F, we just take our pinky down from the D string and put it on the three of the G. Okay, and like just strum it the same way and time it the same way as we did with the C. Okay, and just repeat that whole thing twice. Okay, so try it now. lead us into the solo section here okay and we're going to start here at the threes on the b and e hit it and just do like a long slide up okay and then that'll bring us up to our tens here on the b and e and we're going to do kind of like we did in the uh, bridge section for the second guitar we're going to uh, hit those tens hammer on to 12 of the e about two times so it'd be like okay Hit the tens alone, and then once more, and hammer on the twelve. Okay, be like. All right, now we do this cool little kind of chromatic scale that happens. Uh, we hit fourteen on the G, give it a little bit of time alone. All right, and then we go thirteen twelve. Okay, then we go four on the G, and then on the D we go fourteen thirteen twelve. Okay, and then on the A we go 14, 13, 12. So it's kind of easy to remember. We're just kind of chromatically going down these here. So it'd be something like. Okay, once we get to that 12 of the A, we just kind of keep going with that and go 11, 10. come over and we do uh, 10 to 12 on the E to 14. Okay, and then we do 12, 14, 15 on the A. Okay. So then put this whole section together here. Next section of the solo. Uh, we'll be here at the 12s on the D. We're going to give that uh, two bends and then go to 10. Okay, hit 12 on the A, 10 on the D. Okay, so. All right, and then just a really quick couple 12s on the D, 10, couple 12s back to 10. back up to uh, 10 on the E here with a 12 on the B. All right, and we're going to 
hit that twice and then come off to 10s on the B and E and then back to the 12 B 10 E. So B. Okay, then we hit 12 D, hit 12s on the B and G. come back to 10s on the B and E and go uh, 12 to 10, 12B, 10E. Okay. And now we do this bit where we slide 10s to 12s on the B and E, back to 10. Okay. And then we just uh, do a quick 12 to 10 on the B and E. So it'd be like. Alright, so I'm gonna just put this whole section together. Alright, in the last section of the solo, uh, we're gonna bring it all the way up here to. Uh, you wanna be on the 15s of the B and E. And we're going to pull off 17 to 15 on the E. And then after we pull that off, we're going to hit 15 on the B once more after it. So it'd be like... All right, and essentially you just want to pre repeat that about uh, five times or so. Just... All right, and then we're going to come up uh, with the pinky and pull off the 20. Okay, 20 to 15, and then hit the 15B after that. Okay. All right, and then from here, we just kind of do like uh, 17 on the B. All right, and then we're going to hammer on 15 to 17 a couple times. All right, and then we just hit 15B and then end it on a 13B. All right, so now we can just put this section together. All right, now we get these cool little accent things that happen in the last verse. Um, basically, it's just kind of a second guitar coming in or whatever, but... Uh, these have this uh, timed delay on it. It's like, you know, about like a quarter second delay. And uh, basically we rest for the uh, C, the two C measures, and the first measure of the A. Okay, but once we get to that uh, last measure of the A, we hit fives on the B and E. Okay, so it'd be something like this with the delay. And I'll leave you a link in the description for all my effects and all that stuff if you want to check them out. Okay, so it'd be something like this. Okay, about that timing on it. All right, just a cool little accent thing that they stick in there in the last verse. Okay, so it does that, and then it waits through the two C measures again, and the first A measure of the second time through. And on that last measure, it's going to come up and it's going to hit 15s on the B and the E. Same style. Okay. So, pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I'll just put them back to back for you here. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.